deserve a mini skirt. Actually, I deserve multiple mini skirts. I deserve every mini skirt that I want now. <laughs> so I've been throwing a tantrum about mini skirts for like six months now. <laughs> I made a video in April that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen where I recreated popular outfits from outfits I'll wear when I'm skinny Pinterest boards. And one of the trends that I talked about in that video was mini skirts and how a lot of people seem to believe that you can only wear a mini skirt if you are thin. Now I am obviously not thin, but I would eat y'all bitches up in a mini skirt. <laughs> I want a mini skirt so badly, it's not even funny. And it is impossible to find them in plus sizes. If you watched that video, you know that I ordered a mini skirt and when I got it, it just made no sense on my body. It was way too tight around my waist to the point where I literally could not comfortably sit down or breathe. Um, and it wasn't even mini. It was like a full blown knee length skirt. I looked like I went to a private school. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted, right? I wanted to live my like schoolgirl early 2000s fantasy and it just wasn't happening for me. That skirt pissed me off enough that I was like, no, I actually like deserve a mini skirt. Like me, I deserve one. And quite frankly, everyone else deserves to see me in one. So my goal here is to try to find a good little cluster of mini skirts that fit me as a size 16 person. Where do you begin with these sorts of things? Well, for me, I began by complaining on twitter.com. <laughs> because if you yell about things enough publicly, people start giving you solutions. In all honesty, I had looked through all of the stores that I've been shopping at recently, hoping to find a mini skirt, and there's just not a very wide selection of them. Like usually if you are shopping at plus size stores, you got a lot of midi skirts, a lot of maxi skirts, not a lot of mini skirts, which just seems dumb, right? Because like people should pay money to see these thighs. So because I was so frustrated, I tweeted about it and y'all came through. So I ended up buying mini skirts from four different places. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and then we're gonna see if it fits and then I'm gonna style it however I want to and give you that fall mini skirt bad bitty inspo that you all needed today. <laughs> So one of the most recommended brands for me to try out was Lucy and Yak. I've been recommended their stuff before because I think they're pretty similar to Big Bud Press, but they're based in the UK. They sell these cute little mini skirts. They kind of look like denim mini skirts. They're more like straight and fitted. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna love the fit of these, but like I'm open to it. I'm open to being so impressed and blown away by how good I look at these <laughs> skirts. So it seems like the Lucy and Yak size range is kind of on a per product basis. So some products offer a wider size range than others. For the skirts specifically, what's listed on the website is that it only goes up to a UK 22, which is a US 18, which isn't fantastic. Um, looking at their website, it seems like they originally committed to carrying up to a size 28 UK, which is 24 US, and now they're working on expanding to 32 UK, which is 28 US. Um, but skirts don't seem to be included in the expansion of sizes as of yet. So it's like some products go up to a US 28, whereas other products only go up to an 18. It seems kind of across the board right now, but this does appear to be something that they are working on growing out. But this is where it's at as of right now. So next up, I ordered from a brand called Tunnel Vision and I had to order from them because they had some bomb, funky, early 2000s type mini skirts going on. They had this pink zebra, like zip up pleated mini skirt. I saw it and was like, this shit's ugly. I love it. <laughs> Tunnel Vision is a super small business run out of Los Angeles. All of their clothes are either vintage or their own in-house brand original designs. Only sold on their website. They're producing small batch runs, sweatshop free environment. Seems like a really cool company and the stuff on their website is pretty sick as well. So definitely go check them out. And they go up to a 4X in sizing. So the next store that I was recommended by you guys is Los Angeles Apparel. This store has a super shitty size range. That being said, there is one skirt in particular that was recommended to me because of how stretchy it is. And it's actually a skirt, which I'm very interested in because this means that it, if I knew how to do a cartwheel, I could do a cartwheel and I wouldn't have to worry about my cooter being out. I don't know how to do a cartwheel though. So we don't have to think about that, but in this dream reality, that's a plus. So I'm down with the skirts. <laughs> so I guess this pont A-line skirt is supposed to be pretty stretchy. 
I bought two in the largest size they have, which is an XL. The squirts look really cute. They look like they can be either styled up or styled down. So if these really are stretchy enough, these could be like kind of cute little staples for my closet. But I kind of hate this as well because it's like having to order sizes that aren't yours in hopes that they'll be stretchy enough is like not a fun shopping experience. It's like having to play a constant guessing game. It would be way more fucking fun if I could just buy my size. And also I'm in a place of privilege to even be able to sit here and be like, oh, maybe I can squeeze into this. Maybe it'll stretch. Because as a size 16, I can still wear straight size clothing if the material is right, if it's stretchy enough. But if you're above a size 16, 18, that's not going to be the case. So I don't, Ugh. Lastly, I bought a skirt from Reformation. Now, the selection at Reformation is not fantastic. They have a section on their site for extended sizes, which is basically just like cherry picking random items of clothing that they sell and offering them up to a 22. The selection is not nearly as wide as the stuff they offer for smaller sizes. They literally had one mini skirt that I could possibly buy, and I was hesitant to buy it because it is a floral skirt. And usually that's like what plus size people get offered. They're like, oh, do you want this floral top that looks like you just walked out of limited two as a grown adult? But I bought it, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can style it in a way that I actually like. So the orders have been placed, all of the stuff has arrived. So let's try these skirts on, try to style them. is fast, thorough, and sharp as a tack. All right, so this is the skirt from Reformation. This is the floral skirt that I was a little unsure of how I was gonna style. Here's the thing, we're trying two things that are a little new here. First of all, the floral skirt. Second of all, the sweater vest, which is so different for me, but I see these bitches wearing it on TikTok and I do like the look, it's fun. I feel like I'm still giving hot girl energy but I'm wearing a floral skirt and a sweater vest, which feels like maybe it should contradict, but it doesn't, because I'm sexy and I decide. I actually really like this skirt. I like wanted to hate it because I just, I don't know, I kind of want to have beef with Reformation a little bit, but I just, I fucking like it. It's nice and comfy, it fits good, it's flowy, definitely getting some good air circulation. This would be my first day of school outfit if I attended school. I'm 24. <laughs> Skirt is from Reformation. Sweater vest is also from Reformation. My white turtleneck underneath is from Eloki. Eloki? Eloqui. I don't know. <laughs> and the jacket is also from Eloqui. Eloqui? Eloqui. Booties are from Urban. Bag is from Nasty Gal. Sunglasses are from Indy. Because I'm predictable, baby. I feel like if I was in a movie, this would be my character's first outfit. You would like meet me in this outfit. I'm at the library. I'm going to school for the first time. I'm starting a new job. I'm the hot, sexy girl with a short skirt and a long jacket who's like fixing things in a file cabinet and my ass is out. Like, it's a fantasy, right? I feel like I'm kind of serving. Like, I feel like I'm sort of loving this outfit because it's giving me the softness of like the florals and the fucking sweater vest. But at the same time, it's like, oh, she's hot though. Like she's sexy. It is giving some level of sexy librarian. She's a nice girl, but like maybe she fucks. <laughs> Lucy and Yak. Now, I am conflicted about this one. It fits pretty similar to what I thought that it would. It is a very straight skirt, which is not the greatest fit for anyone that has like a stomach and hips, you know? So like it fits fine around the waist, but it's definitely pretty tight around my stomach and would not be very comfortable if I sat down in it. With that said, I do like the way that it works in this outfit. Do I feel like I have to wear this outfit exclusively standing up? Yes, but I kind of feel like a Scooby-Doo character. <laughs> it feels like they maybe didn't consider that a size 16 would have a little bit more 
in the hips, stomach area, because I'm really, I had to lay down in order to zip this bad boy up. <laughs> but this is like what I expected, right? Like when people make skirts for larger sizes, they just take a smaller size and go, ooh, they just like widen the JPEG, okay? They're not actually thinking about the dimensions of a plus size body. But I do really like this outfit and I do think that the jacket is kind of the star player of this fit. Like who even gives a fuck about the skirt because this jacket fucks. I got this jacket from a little Instagram thrift store. Exclusively does mid and plus size clothing, which was fucking great. So jacket's from there. Skirt is obviously from Lucy and Yak. Shirt is from Reformation. Shoes are from Urban and my glasses are from Indy. I really like all the yellows, oranges, browns. I think this coat just ties it all together so perfectly. Also imagine taking me on like a haunted hayride date. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> but I have to stand the whole time. <laughs> me trying to bounce on the back of a haunted hayride. Sorry guys, I wore a really tight fitting skirt today. I cannot sit down. <laughs> That's kind of way more fun. Imagine if somebody actually did that on a date though. You took them on a date and they're like surfing in the back of a haunted hayride. I would marry them. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Scored nation, baby. Look at this fucking thing. I am extremely happy. I just feel like skirt versus skirt. Skirt wins every goddamn time because I don't have to worry about anything. I have never had a worry a day in my life. <laughs> yeah, once I got this skirt in person, totally right on the, like, you can either dress this piece up or dress it down. It, like, vaguely looks like a tennis type of skirt. Like, I could wear this skirt exercising if I wanted to, or I could wear it like this, which this feels like a, ooh, I'm just going on a quick coffee run. I'm just gonna go run some errands real quick. Hot girl crossing the street energy. She passes you and you're like, whoa, who the fuck is that? And by the time you work up the courage to say something to me, I'm gone, baby. You missed your opportunity. The window, you missed it. Ah! You know, I just told the whole story. <laughs> so the score is from Los Angeles Apparel and I just paired this with a long sleeve top that I got from Reformation. This cardigan that I wear all the time from Urban. My signature leopard print bag. And then these same black booties from Urban, baby. And then lately I've been really giving it my best shot with these claw clips. I finally found a claw clip that works for like thick, long hair. And these are like sort of doing the trick. I still can't decide if I really love the way that it looks, but I almost don't care because it's serving me like my 90s, early 2000s fantasy. So it's like, I don't really care if I have a bobblehead and like pulling my hair back just makes me look like a full on egg. You know, like we get it. I have a huge fucking head because I have a huge fucking brain. So is that a downside? I don't think so. I, if anything, it's a flex. <laughs> like imagine me just leaning here, reading a book, waiting for my coffee. Would you talk to me? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> this store only goes up to an XL, so like they for sure don't want bitches like me wearing this shit, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Ooh, ooh. This fatty is gonna wear whatever the fuck she wants. You tell me not to wear it, I'm gonna find a way to make it work. So look at me in the skirt, goddammit. <laughs> one doesn't work. So this is the skirt from Tunnel Vision. I have not even styled this outfit in any way. I was just changing from the last outfit uh, because I realized it just simply does not fit me. It's way too big. Yeah, I think this is my fault. I think I just ordered the wrong size. So I'm definitely going to have to buy from them in the future and try them again because this could have been so cute. I really could have been living my 2004 fantasy, but I fucked up, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody needs to enjoy this. So I'm gonna list this on my Depop and then hopefully one of you can grab it and enjoy it because this is a bomb fucking skirt. <laughs> but I did promise four outfits, so I'm gonna give you four outfits. I'm just gonna style the last one with another skirt that I got from Los Angeles Apparel. So let's do it. Come the fuck on with this one, mama. Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, the thing I love most about fall is layering. I am gonna put a turtleneck under every goddamn outfit, so help me God. And just looking at myself in the viewfinder right now, this is what the fuck I'm talking about when I say that the people deserve to see these hips and thighs in a goddamn skirt. I really love the look of like the tight black mini skirt paired with a black turtleneck with a very loose fitting 
like dad tourist top on top of it. It's totally not that, but it has that kind of look to it. This is the same score from Los Angeles Apparel, just in a different color. Big top is from Reformation. Turtleneck underneath is from Lulu. Glasses are from Indy, as always, baby. All my sunglasses are from Indy at this point. And then I have these black heeled booties on which honestly are probably from like Macy's or TJ Maxx or something. I really love outfits like these because they're cute and kind of sexy, but also very comfortable. This is the beauty of a goddamn skirt. I can feel sexy as fuck, but also be like, I'm so comfortable. I am not worried about anything. What the fuck would I be worried about? I need to read what's on this shirt though. I haven't even looked at it. What is this about? Is it about a breakup? Because if it is, I love that so fucking much. Give me attention, says a man. No. Please don't bother me. I'm not interested. Patsy, what's wrong? Men. Ah! <laughs> Wait, I love this shirt so much more than I thought that I did. Oh, what do you want? I hate to say I told you so, but I will because I don't like you. Every day is ladies' day. And ain't that the truth? And that's it for this video. That is how I will be styling all of my new media skirts this fall, living my short skirt lawn jacket fantasy because quite frankly, I fucking deserve to. If you don't follow me on Instagram, this is a sign to go and do that because I'm sexy. And also I took a lot of photos for this video and I'm gonna be posting them all over my Instagram over the next week or two or three, I don't know. There's a lot of photos. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.